So in the first um, set of these series of videos, we talked about zooming in and out. So assuming we have a firm understanding of that, uh, I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to zoom in on a portion of this image. Here we go. So once I'm zoomed in, I now want to be able to move around effectively. So moving around would require me using either my horizontal scroll bar or my vertical scroll bar to get to where I wanted to go and make whatever adjustment it was. So um, in order to do that, I don't want to have to use these scroll bars because they are probably the most clumsy way that we can go about doing this. A better way, once I'm zoomed in, is to access the hand tool. And the hand tool is found on the toolbox down towards the bottom. It's the one that looks like a little hand. It may look like a rotate view tool, so you'd have to click and hold on it and switch to your hand tool to activate it. And once you do that, it works very similar to what we'd expect from a PDF. I can click and hold and drag the image to move it where I want it to go. And it's probably the most effective way of doing that. Now, like I talked about with the zoom tool, I don't want to have to switch to this tool because let's say I was selecting some area, who knows, right? I was selecting some area of the thing, we're going to distort it, do whatever with it. Well, the problem now is that let's say I were to zoom in because I'm going to make an adjustment. Okay, so I'm zoomed in really close now. And I make my adjustment, whatever that adjustment is, doesn't matter. There's the adjustment. And now I want to scroll up. Well, that means I have to switch to my hand tool, switch back to the tool I wanted to use. So instead of doing that, what you can do if you ever want to temporarily access the hand tool, you just hold down space bar. Then I can drag my screen using the hand tool. As soon as I let go of my mouse, I'm right back on the tool I was using before and I can keep making my adjustments. So you can see I can kind of walk around this uh, image simply by holding space bar to access that hand tool. So again, if you zoom in to a certain area and now I'd like to move the image over or up or down to access the hand tool, you just hold down space, you drag it where you want to go and you're done. There is another feature that actually goes back a long ways and we used to use it all the time. Um, typically now I don't find myself using it in Photoshop, but there is a panel called the Navigator, and I have it activated now. It looks like this ship's wheel, but if you don't have it, you can always go to the Window menu, and under the Window menu, you can choose Navigator, and it's going to pop up. So how the Navigator works is it draws a red box around the area you are currently viewing, and then you can see the rest of your image in the background. If I actually move my mouse over that red box, I can actually grab it and scroll my image uh, wherever I'd want to go. We can also adjust the zoom here, if I wanted to zoom out a little bit and then move it around. So it's not a bad thing to mention. It's a good way to get around your uh, images. Typically I find though using the shortcuts these days uh, to zoom in, zoom out, and then of course to scroll around by accessing that hand tool is a lot faster than me activating the panel. So there you have it. That's a little bit of moving around. Make sure you open up your own images in Photoshop and give this a try.